This time yesterday, homeowners in one southeast Houston neighborhood had debris and large chunks of roofing all over their street. KPRC 2's Taisha Walker returned today to Kirkholm Drive and Kirkholm Drive, where cleanup efforts have been happening all day long. Taisha? Lisa, evidence of the destruction from the storm is still very evident today, but wow, what a difference a day makes. You'll remember that yesterday, I couldn't even walk on the street without encountering pieces of debris and large nails. You could see those are neatly stacked in a pile today, waiting disposal. Then I looked out my front window and I saw some of this roof come right behind my truck. Ed Serrano says he knew it wasn't just the wind that blew through his southeast Houston neighborhood Tuesday. The National Weather Service says the damage is consistent with an EF2 tornado. I'm just glad to be alive. Serrano says he's also counting his blessings today for helpful you know, neighbors. I had surgery and uh, I couldn't lift up heavy stuff and uh, they knew, you know, and they came over. This man doesn't even live in the neighborhood, but brought over his chainsaw to help an elderly couple. Look at this. Look at this. <coughs> look how thick this is. Indie construction owner Raquel Bourjourn does live in the neighborhood and decided to put people over profits. It like broke my heart. So I called my husband and I was like, hey, I don't know what you have on the schedule. We have to cancel it. Bourjourn and her crew have been going door to door to offer help at no charge in this mostly 55 and older community, including the owner of this home we told you about yesterday. It actually went through his house, lifted him off of the ground and threw him back down. He actually has a little cut on his on his head, but we call him Superman. Now he really does believe he has superpowers because he survived a tornado. And we are told that that elderly man is doing just fine today, still in shock, though, and trying to salvage what he can. But Jordan tells us that she and her crew plan to return back out here tomorrow to help even more people, saying that is what Houstonians do. She's also encouraging others to donate where they can. Meanwhile, we did spot an American Red Cross truck making its way down the street, also assessing the damage. Reporting live, Taisha Walker, KPRC 2 News. Taisha, thank you.